Salut! În filmul de astăzi vreau să vă vorbesc un pic despre subiectul școală și coronavirus. Am evitat cât am putut eu de mult acest subiect. Nu prea vreau să dau sfaturi, să vorbesc despre chestia asta, dar am ajuns să fim și noi afectați. Așa că, astăzi, în jurul prânzului, am fost sunați de cei de la școala unde învață fetele să mergem să o luăm pe Ilinca de la școală, ceva neobișnuit. Nu ne-au spus de ce, ne-am gândit la tot felul de variante până a ajuns soția acolo și a aflat că o parte din profesori, câțiva profesori au fost testați pozitiv. Vai ce-mi bate soarele, un soare cu dinți. E friguț, hai să stau așa ca să nu mai bată soarele în ochi. Am aflat că o parte dintre profesori au fost testați pozitiv pentru, pentru virus, iar copiii trebuie retrași din, din clasă, din școală, să stea în izolare pentru următoarele două săptămâni. Ce s-a întâmplat? De când a început școala, aici în Anglia, copiii nu au purtat măști, nu au fost obligați să poarte măști la școală, nici în clasă, nici pe hol, însă au fost separați cumva între, în niște bule, ca să spun așa. Adică separați între ani, separați între clase, să nu se poată întâlni între ei, să nu își poată da virusul în cazul în care lau de la unii la ceilalți. Și dacă școala este nevoită să închidă, să închidă, să trimite doar un an acasă. E, a fost trimis tot primul an în care învață Ilinca, a fost trimis acasă și a fost trimis și anul terminal, pentru că au avut aceiași profesori și au intrat în contact. Acum nu se știe, copiii au luat, nu au luat, dar nu mai are cine să le predea la ore. Și mai mult de aceea i-a trimis acasă. Deci Linca va fi acasă următoarele două săptămâni. Ingrid la fel a spus că ea poate termina orele de astăzi, că au profesori să termine orele, dar de mâine nu se, mai va, nu se va mai duce nici ea la școală, deci anul terminal. Și anii din mijloc se duc în continuare la școală pentru că au profesori care să le predea la ore. Dar vă las să vedeți în continuarea videoului cum arată o zi de izolare a Ilincăi? Ce face ea și cum se descurcă cu orele online? Da? Haideți, vă duc în dormitorul Ilincăi să vedeți ce cameră de izolare și-a făcut ea. Apropo, care e diferența între izolare și carantină? Că eu n-am înțeles. Toate știrile dau chestia asta. Carantină, carantină, carantină. E corect izolare sau carantină? Hmm? Lăsați-mi și mie jos în comentarii. Miru, ce faci, mă? Te-ai izolat? De ce te-ai izolat? Ah, te-au trimis acasă să te izoleze. Și ți-ai făcut aici cămăruța ta. De izolare! Yes. Bravo! Foarte bine! Poți să te pup și eu? Yes. Așa izolată cum ești? Pe unde te pup? Pe aici? Sau pe acolo? Pe aici? Haideți să dau și eu un pup la o fetiță izolată. O fetiță... Today I'm going to be filming isolating with a year 7 student. Right now I'm eating breakfast because I'm a bit late today. So yeah. And my laptop is in front of me on this desk as well. So yeah. I have a bit um, of a runny nose but oh well. Let me check if I've gotten any calls. Um, recently I've had to isolate as a teacher in my, in my school had caught, had caught COVID. So, like, a few of us had to isolate since, um, some of us didn't have that teacher. So now we have to do stuff online. I'm just gonna be having breakfast as they speak, I guess.
and I'm not going to show you guys their faces because that would be because that we got taught something about how we would get in deep trouble if we were to show our, our teachers faces on like a social media platform so yeah um and today my lessons that I am having are geography art english science and maths so that's the stuff i'm having i am back i just got a few tissues and i wanted to check something just so then we had something wait where did they go okay there they go. this is my giant cat plush as you can see and yeah, the first, thi the first thing of the day is basically RFL, which is tutor time. So basically, we have a, like, um, uh, our tutor is talk with us and we do RFL, which is basically like PHSE. So yeah, we are usually... And for, we have like a Google Classroom for every single class. Like today we have Science Fest. So I go on my Science Google Classroom. And then we can go on a Google Meet so we can see the teachers in the class. And now we can then also see some other students. But I'm not going to have my camera on because my hair's a bit weird today. So yeah. I just go on my science school classroom and then I can go on Google Meet to see the teachers and then you can learn. I'm going to time lapse learn doing RFL because that takes a few minutes. I think I'm just going to check. So RFL from 8.30 at to 9.10. So that means we have four, 40 ish minutes of RFL, I guess. <laughs> and he will send, and our teacher will send us a Google Meet code so that we, and also we can also just go on Google Meet. So yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I just get ready early because I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be late or anything. And um, usually, I you do type stuff in the chat just so then the teachers can see what you're doing, and you can ask the teachers questions quite a lot usually. So yeah, and then uh -huh. And I can also type stuff in chat of the Google Classroom. And you can communicate with your friends in there and ask questions as well. Um, usually it's around 8.30 or 8.40 when it starts. So we can just go on Google Meet and we'll just start it, I guess. So yeah, it's quite, as a new student to the school, because I'm a year seven student, it's a bit, it's new, but it's not that difficult. It's just like a new thing that we're learning about, and it's, it's not that difficult or complicated, I guess. It's just more I like a new thing. You can also, I also have my reading books down here, down at my desk. And I also have my math work from yesterday, but I, I sent it in. So yeah, it's quite good actually. Cause like it helps us learn, like as if we were in class, but in fact we're at home. 
so yeah, I just sit back here and watch the teachers and waiting for everything. Yeah, that's really just it. So I'll update you guys when we are back. We are about to have our new classroom, and then we can fast forward while I'm doing my work and stuff. So yeah. We don't have a Google Classroom for Geography, so it's going to be a bit difficult on how we're going to be doing Geography. But, yeah, that's just a bit part of my day of how I deal with quarantining as a Year 7 student and how and how I, how if it is difficult or if it's just like a normal part of my day. It's kind of like I'm there. But it's just a bit like more difficult. Phew! Uh, you know. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> it's okay actually. It's kind of like I'm just with my friends, but instead of that, I'm other stuff. So, um, we just had, had art and now it is break time slash snack time. This is what I'm, I know I'm a bit wonky right now because I'll just try and fix that a bit, up a bit. There we go. Not really that wonky anymore. There we go. So, for art, I made this with Ingrid's watercolours and stuff. Don't know if you can see it, I'll just show you like this so then I can see if you can see it or not. So this is what I made, it's a reindeer with a robin, and yeah, I was looking on Google for inspiration in a way, as well, so yeah, I used Ingrid watercolours and now it's snack time, so yeah, I'm having some crisps and about, we're about to have English, so I'm going to time lapse English, so yeah, that'll be fun. English so I'm gonna see you guys at the end of the day and tell you how it went we just had English I've had a shower and I've changed and now English was pretty good we were we're learning about Shakespeare and if he was like if he really wrote his plays or if there he was like someone else at the same time and it was pretty good it's now the end of the day this is what I'm gonna have to do for like the next couple weeks and yeah and then I'm also gonna start playing some games and and watch some Netflix okay I shall see you guys another time maybe don't forget to like this video subscribe subscribe and follow us follow daniel and dad's exploring for more videos like this and see you guys in another video bye